Hello everybody, welcome to JLav TV. I am JLav and this is Football Manager 2017, the Unemployment Challenge, and this is a monthly update because I want to do something different. And I want to show off this new skin I got for my game, but hey, that's nice, isn't it? I think it's quite pleasant. It's different, and I wanted to, well, show it off really. Expose something that you can get on any website that is dedicated to Football Manager. Yay. But yes, uh, good news is that we're not going to fail the fair play this time, and we will be in the Champions League next season as things stand, so that's good. And also apparently the raised budget for next year will be 1.2 million. Don't know why that's the case, but there you go. I'll also be showing some future transfers that's going to happen now. Now, we, as we all know, this is the first player that is going to be joining us. And considering that he's a very good talent and has a very, very good future ahead of him, it's looking quite good. He'll be joining us on the free. I'm looking forward to seeing when that happens. Because I look to use him in the best way possible for player. Here's another player that's going to be joining me on a free at the beginning of the next season, the 1st of July. And really, Hugo Lazaro looks really good for 22. Not his hair or his anything else, but his stats look really good for 22. And I'm looking forward to using him as a player. I feel he'll be a very good player for us. And it looks really nice, you know? But anyway, it's just looking really good. And I did not know about some of this stuff. The consistency, this is new. Ooh. Ooh. This is definitely something I hadn't actually realised. This is I'm still learning about this skin, honestly, and it looks really cool. Looks really cool that this is the case. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, it's looked good, and I'm gonna be bringing him into the side. And good for this, isn't it? Here's another future transfer that's not gonna be joining me next year. Boss in 2026. When his contract expires, he can't join me until he turns 18, which is a bit embarrassing on my part. I didn't realise that was the case, but yeah, it looks good. He looks really good. I'm happy that he's going to be joining me when he does. It'll give me some stuff to think about in the future. And yeah, he'll be joining me as the left winger for the team. I'm really happy that's the case. So there are some stuff I didn't realise you could actually get, like the consistency stats, that's new. I did not know this. I'm very happy that's the case. However, there is one player I will be losing at the end of the season, and that is Rafa Silva. So while he's going to be joining Roma, getting paid £140,000 a week, we'll be losing him on a free transfer. It's a bit annoying that's the case, but in a way I guess the idea of not having to pay his £110,000 raises a week is helpful. I mean, I wanted £40 million for him, but yeah, able to go for free. That's annoying. I should, just, I should have just offered him out before and hoped for the best. I mean, I was offered £10 million, so that wasn't really my thing. But yeah, we paid £14.25 million. He wanted Champions League football. I said, I'll get it at the end of the season. Then he off I set the offer for him anyway. So that's not good, is it? Oh well, what a shame. Now, let's see what happens in the games of January. There's at least eight of them. So yes, this first of many games was the Taka de Liga third phase Group C match against Rio Avi and we won this 3-1. It was nice. We had a 3-0 lead at one point going into half time and they got a goal back, but yeah, it wasn't much consolation. We still beat them comfortably and we just did really well for ourselves. An easy win, it has to be said, but yeah, not bad at all, was it? Oh my god, I did not know that was the case. I'm learning so many things about this new skin. It's amazing. That's amazing. Our next opponent was also in the Teca de Liga third phase group C. And it was our local rivals, Belenesis, and we beat them 4-0. It was quite comfortable, actually. They only had one shot, it was off target, and yeah, same formation, we just were better than they were, and we destroyed them. I was really happy that was the case. Another good win against our local rivals. 
We then had another match, this time in the league, against Bernalessis, and we beat them 5-0 this time. So it's almost as if the team knew who we were up against and decided, actually, we would have won up ourselves than last time. We want to get a 5-0 win instead of a 4-0 win because we're that good. We want to show the world we are that talented. And they did. So, yeah. <laughs> we were so good in this game, I don't know what to say. It was probably one of the best performances I've ever seen, really, but there you go. Just good to know that we are that damn good sometimes. We then had a match away from home in the league as, against Rio Avi, and we only won 2-1 this time. Again, they scored against us. It's the second time they've done it, and I think they're the only team to have scored against us in both matches, or in more than one match this season, that I could really recall before this moment. So, yeah, it was surprising to me. And... I wasn't concerned, I knew we were going to win, it was just annoying that we could see this so late on, to not have the comfort of knowing, yeah, we're actually going to win this match. But either way, it was something that we need to work on in the future. So our next match was away from home against Gio Vicente, and for the first time this season, we considered more than a goal in a match. So we won 4-2 in the league, but it should have been more, and we shouldn't have considered so many goals. It was at 1.2-0, then they got it to 2-1, then we got to 3-2, then 4... No. 2-1, then 3-1, then 4-1. They got a late goal to make it 4-2. And, yeah, it was just annoying. We should have done better. That's just my a personal opinion. I always complain about these sort of things. But we should have done better, and we weren't at our best either. In terms of possession, we actually... Probably let them have too many chances as it is, so I'll complain about that all day long. Then we had a game in the Teca de Portugal, sixth round match against a team that beat us in our sec in my second game in charge of Benfica, Chimeres, and it was comfortable. Despite the fact we missed the penalty in the third minute, we managed to go ahead and win 4-1, and it was actually quite an easy win, considering this is a team that's split into his in fourth place in the league, but... I guess that's the difference between Benfica, Porto and Sports and Lisbon compared to everyone else. We could just go up another level and just destroy everyone. Oh well, that was interesting. What next? Then we had a game against Gio Mores and we lost 3-0. We were behind inside the first minute. I was thinking, okay, that's fine. We can come back from this. Then Nelson Samido got sent off. Two bookings in the space of four minutes. Now that, that annoyed me a lot more than I'd like to admit. And I decided in that moment that I was going to leave him at the side for the foreseeable future, shall we say. A future that I don't think he should come back from anytime soon. I'm really frustrated by this because I feel he is best in the way he showed. And he just made our job a lot harder. Had it not been for that red card, I think we would have won this match. I really do. That's why I'm annoyed by this. And it's the second time we lost against the Southern League. And they're the only team to have taken six points from us in the league this season. And probably will be the only team to do so. I was so disappointed with him for that moment. I really was. But then we went ahead and faced him in the Tacata Liga semi-final and destroyed him 5-0. Federico Ries got a hat-trick inside 12 minutes after he came on from the bench. So, yeah, that's good, isn't it? We could be better, we could be worse, but the fact we destroyed them after they beat us 3-0 is good. And I'm very happy that is the case. And this was the last game of the Canada Month. And this is the last game of the month of January. So, the next game we have is actually the Taka de Liga final against Porto. I think we can win, we haven't faced them yet, and I'm certainly hoping we can beat them. Because we also have them in the Taka de Liga, in the Taka de Port... And I'm hoping we can, we can beat them, because we also have them in the Taka de Portugal semi-final, where we've faced over two legs. And that's one thing I want to avoid losing, thank you very much. And this is currently the league table, our last defeat in the league against this bloody team. 
is enough to keep us top for the time being, but give Porto a chance to come back at us and to potentially try and get three points and just, well, try and close us down. Then hope for their goal difference is superior to ours. They will need at least four goals to overtake us on goal difference. So I need to win their game in hand by four goals. You know, I have no idea who that is against. And quite frankly, I don't care. I just want to be champions. I really do. So yeah, it's us against Porto in pretty much every single competition this year. We can get the all three trophies, and so can they. They're looking to defend this title, so we need to try and get something this year. I mean, Champions League is what I'm aiming for initially, but so far, it looks like I can get the title as well. Howdyo. Anyway, here's the Morse layout for this. This is amazing, it really is. I actually really like this skin. It's really cool. Probably my favourite skin I've come across so far, really. That says a lot. But anyway, I'm actually going to end this video here. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you'll like and share this video. And that you'll subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out a lot. And until next time, goodbye and well, good night.